so I appreciate this. Um, I'm 42 years old, <laughs> and I try to keep up, my, up on my skincare. Obviously, not my hair, because my hair is a bit of a mess today. But we, as a society, hasn't talked before much about perimenopause and all that stuff until like I don't even know in the last decade ish or so. You talk to your mom and your aunts and your grandmas and stuff like I started doing that heavy last year right and I'm 42 and I started having like just changes in my cycle and stuff over when I was like in my mid to late ish 30s and I did have my kid my second kid when I was like uh, after 35 and they yes they called it in what they call it an elderly pregnancy something like that I forgot geriatric pregnancy anyway all that to say is that by talking to my other family members I started realizing that they started having perimenopausal symptoms too but previously we didn't have the information to know that this is what's going on right and so now we're more well versed in this stuff and so we start to realize that we actually as we as women started having symptoms just changing your cycle and stuff like that in your mid 30s okay and that perimenopause perimenopause can last for 10 years when i hit 40 the dryness set in set in heavy i do not have any underlying issues i don't have any blood sugar issues i don't have any issues like this like no blood sugar no no, no like other markers for anything nothing Nothing, knock on wood. Everything has been clean and health, a clean bill of health, so yeah.